All right. So y'all can pause it now. All right. So who, who wants to tell me what was the important takeaway from that thing? Something we we're talking about already. What what stood out to you? Um, when he said I am. There you go. You see how he said I am? And then what when he said it, what happened? He became um powerful. Right. He started to glow, right? Mm -hmm. so that's called uh, illumination. All right. Do y'all still have y'all um, the our alphabets? Our alphabets for success and alphabets of entrepreneurship? Y'all got the list. Uh, remember, we we started it in the first session. Do y'all have a list of the ones we went over? I have it, unless I have it. This is not in this notebook. I have to find a notebook that I didn't share. Huh? Hmm? Y'all have it or no? I have it. I have it. This is not in this notebook, but I have it. Okay. What we're going to do now, we're going to try to use the same notebook. That way we can kind of keep up with all our notes. Uh, from the course in the same book that way because like what we're going to do is we'll add we'll give definitions for um key terms as we go up go you know go over them and then some of them we'll just kind of pick up where we left off i think do you remember where we left off at like what alphabet it feels like what's the last one she has d okay d all right so we're going to go ahead and write E, F, all right, so write E, and then remember, skip like two or three spaces. So do E, skip a few spaces, F, skip a few spaces, G, skip a few spaces, H, skip a few spaces, and then we're gonna stop at I. All right. And then once you write down I, what you're going to write down is illumination. And I can, I'll spell it out for you. So you're going to write I L L U M I N A T I O N. So illumination. All right. Now, who wants to take a shot at answering what illumination is? What do you think illumination is? Mm, to shine. Yeah, that's a good one. We'll keep it short and sweet. To shine. So we'll write to shine or to get your inner, to, to have your inner glow. So to shine or to have your inner glow. So that's illumination, illuminated. That's a good one. All right, so let's go to, all right, so for the alphabet E, can anyone give me an entre, a business term or something positive or a success term for the alphabet E? Entrepreneur. Great, perfect, entrepreneur. So it's uh, E N T R. E P R E N E U R. So entrepreneur. All right. Anyone want to take a <clears throat> take a shot at that definition? What do you think an entrepreneur is? The creator of a business. The, the definition. So the creator of a business. Creator of a business. Can you name like a, a famous entrepreneur that y'all might like? Mm, Tony Robbins. Oh, what you know about Tony Robbins? We watched Tony his Robbins. Netflix documentary. Okay, yeah, that's one of my favorites. All right, so Tony Robbins. Can anybody else name another entrepreneur? What about somebody that makes clothes? Shoe. It's a lot of shoe mm -hmm. entrepreneurs. 
Uh, what about Master P? You got Puff Daddy. You got Oprah Winfrey. You got Young Jeezy. Pretty much all the rappers are entrepreneurs. And I'm going to give you my definition for entrepreneur. Y'all don't have to write it down, but I'm going to explain it to you. We'll write this entrepreneur down. And then I'm going to let y'all collectively research her and then tell me about her next week. Now, she's from Columbia, South Carolina. So she lives where I live at. And she right now, she's 16 years old. She became a millionaire when she was 13. All right, write down Gabby, G-A-B-B-Y, Gabby Bowles, uh, B-O-W-S. So she basically created her own hair bowl, and she became a millionaire at 13. She's right, right here in Columbia. So I want y'all to, between now and next Thursday, y'all going to get on YouTube, get on Google, and then take some notes on, and y'all going to tell me more about it. That way y'all learn about her in the process and see how she was able to create her own business and, and get rich. Like she just um, bought an office building here in Columbia probably like two months ago, but she's really successful. Mm. All right, so Gabby Bowles, y'all gonna, so you, part of your homework for next week is y'all gonna tell me about Gabby and then uh, Bobby's gonna tell me what affirmation means. I mean, you just Google the definition and then he'll read it off. All right, so I'm going to give you my definition of an entrepreneur, and you don't have to write this down, just you know, kind of listen. All right, so my other definition, like y'all, Bobby gave a great definition. I'm going to give you another definition for it. And like I said, y'all don't have to write it down, it's in your course already. So an entrepreneur is anyone who creates, like Bobby said, anyone who creates or takes advantage of an income earning opportunity. So anyone who creates or takes advantage of an income earning opportunity. So Bobby actually had a pretty good definition. I just added a little more to it. So all right, we already know what create means. That means you start a business. So all right, taking advantage of an income earning opportunity would be like, have y'all ever heard of Avon or Mary Kay? Or McDonald's. Yeah. Or I heard McDonald's. Of Mary J. Huh? And McDonald's. I heard of Mary J. You're talking about the shoe or the singer? No, no, Mary Kay, like the makeup, Mary Kay products. Like uh, oh makeup. yes. All right. So taking advantage of an opportunity would be like if we bought a McDonald's franchise, or we bought into a business, and then we. Instead of us creating it, we just basically bought into somebody else's idea. So that would make an entrepreneur too. All right, so let me expand on the creating part. So I right, starting a business, that's one form of entrepreneurship. But guess who's also entrepreneurs? So I right, just say if I'm a, say if I'm a, I like to draw, all right? And then I create a t-shirt company and start to sell my drawings. Wouldn't that make me an entrepreneur? It is. Yes. Right. So I created an opportunity for myself. So I would if I'm, I like to play basketball, which I really do. I'm pretty good. So I, I play basketball. I go to high school. I go to college. And then I go to the NBA. All right. Did I not create an opportunity for myself? You did. You did. So that means even athletes are entertained. So all right, what if I like to sing and I go to the recording studio and I make a CD? Does that make me an entrepreneur? Yes. yes. Absolutely. So singers are entrepreneurs, athletes, painters. If you write a book, so authors are entrepreneurs. So on one of those lines, we're going to write those examples down of other entrepreneurs. So you're going to write down authors, so you can put an example of entrepreneur or just example, and then you already have the definition for entrepreneur. So authors, athletes, singers, let's see, what's another one there? Oh, if I'm a comedian and I tell jokes and people pay me for to make them laugh, 
wouldn't that make me an entrepreneur? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I created uh, an opportunity for my All right. All right. So do y'all have any more space uh, under E to write down more uh, terms? Yes. I do. Okay. All right. So I'm going to give you, all right. Can anybody think of another word that starts with E that would fall into what we're talking about? All right, so Bobby, you said an entrepreneur is somebody that creates a business. All right, so just say I created a business. All right, just say I'm, I own McDonald's. All right, I'm the owner. Can I do the, can I run the fry machine by myself, the nugget machine, make the hamburgers, run the cash register? Can I do all that by myself? No. no. So what am I probably going to need? employees good answer who said that me i mean bobby all right good answer so employees are part of should be in on that e because if you build a big enough company you're probably not going to want to do everything by yourself you're probably going to want to pay employees to to do the work so we'll say the definition for employees because I, I like to think of my employees as partners not I'm the boss, you're just the employee, because we need each other, right? Mm -hmm. I own McDonald's, I ain't gonna run all those stations and cook all that food. So they, the employees need me to pay them and I need them to do what they are paid to do. So we'll say an employee is someone that partners with your business, so someone that partners with your business to help you run it. So someone that partners with your business to help you run. I think that's a pretty nice term for employee. All right. Do, do y'all remember how old I was when I started my first business? Eight. Um, how old? Eight. Oh, wow. Good job. Good memory. So guess who was my first employee? Your sister. My older sister. So my older sister was my first employee. And uh, my best friend, Tito. So, yeah, my older sister was my, my first employee. So, employees are pretty important to your business. So, Bobby, so just say all three of y'all start a separate business. Y'all can actually be each other's employees. So, just say if Bobby has a snack business, he might need help packaging the snacks. So, he might employ y'all. And then just say one of y'all write a book. And Bobby is the guy that draws the best. Y'all might need him to do the illustration. So just say my very first book, um, I had a 14-year-old do my illustration. There was a book called No Training Wheels. It's actually on Amazon. And a 14-year-old did my illustration. So she was like an employee or we'll call, and this is another term, we'll come to that when we get to the S, subcontract. So you don't have to write it down now, but I'll tell you what it is. So employee is one thing. Subcontractor would be if Bobby has a business and just say he has a graphic design business, so he's the artist. And just say, Naisha, not, how you say it again? Anissa. Anissa. All right, so say Anissa writes a book. And then, so she has her business. And then Bobby is the graphic designer, so he has his business. So if you say, all right, well, I can't draw, but I need Bobby to do the drawing for me. What, since both of y'all have businesses, what it would be called is you're subcontracting the graphic designing part too. So it's kind of like a more powerful employee because in this case, he's a business owner and you're a business owner. So y'all have a different type of relationship. You're not gonna pay him you know, $8 an hour, he might say, okay, I'll do all your illustrations, just give me $50. So he'll be able to negotiate how much he wants you to pay because he would be a business owner and he would be subcontracting. So it's kind of like an employee, but he got more power, all right? <laughs> all right, do we got any more room for any any more ease or did we cover, do, do y'all use all the space? I used all my space. Okay, that's fine. All right. I'm going to tell you about another E, 
and I'll, I'll email y'all like when we get finished with all the alphabets, all the terms. So y'all won't have to write this down if you don't have space. But another E would be uh, equity. So it's called equity. So all right. So if you had equity in a company, so I just say Bobby got a company, and y'all y'all two sisters decide to invest in this company. So just say Bobby said, well, I need about $100. So just say y'all gave him $50 a piece and y'all own a percentage of this company, it would be called y'all have equity ownership in the company, meaning y'all own a percentage of this company. So equity is just a, a simple word for saying I own a percentage of something. All right. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Next alphabet we have is F. Can anybody give me any words or phrases that would fall under F, whether it's anything about entrepreneurship, business, or success, or something positive? Um, All right. What about fundraising? Right, raising fundraising, fundraising. Now, all right, just say at the middle school or high school that y'all go to, do y'all have to sell candy? Like, has anybody sold candy for the school or the church or Girl Scout, Boy Scout? Yes. Yeah. What, what did they call it? What did they call what y'all are doing? Fundraising, fundraising, right? So, what, what what's a good definition for fundraising? It's actually in the word. To raise money. That's it. So instead of saying raise, well, we'll say raising money, put raising money or funds. So a different word for money would be funds. So I remember the word is called fund raising. So that means we're raising funds, right? So mm -hmm. selling chocolate or cookies for an organization, they're basically they're calling it a fundraiser. So by us selling the, the product, we're raising funds, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, another F, you're gonna write down financial literacy. So financial literacy, F-I-N-A-N-C-I-A-L, and then literacy, L-I-T-E-R-A-C-Y. All right. Has everyone heard the term illiterate? Mm -hmm. yes. so somebody says they're illiterate. What does that mean? They don't know how to read or write. I mean. Right, right. So what do you think? So so that means literacy would be the opposite of like that, just that part. So if I say I'm financially literate or financial literacy, that means basically I'm pretty savvy in, in finance, right? That means the so financial literacy will say to understand finance. So that that definition will say to understand finance. And we're going we we actually have a whole uh, module that we'll go over later on in the weeks on financial literacy, where I'll teach y'all about saving money. We'll talk about credit. We'll talk about giving. Financial literacy, but right now we'll just say, um, what what was the definition we said again? I want to be consistent. To understand finances. To understand finances. We're gonna go with that. All right. Um, okay. Let's think of a social media platform that we might can mark. Well, not might that we can market our business once we start a business. What's a platform, social media platform that starts with an F? Facebook. Facebook. So write down Facebook. And then I'm going to give y'all a way to look at it versus the thing, because y'all, everybody knows what Facebook is. All right. So I've made a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money using Facebook. A lot, a lot of money. All right. So write this down. So Y'all want to look at Facebook 
So say right now, look at Facebook as a way to market, promote, and advertise your business. So look, look at Facebook as a way to market, promote, and advertise your business. So that means if you create a t-shirt company, you can market it on Facebook. If you create a graphic designing company, you can market on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a young lady that I know of in Savannah. She's a teenager and she sells banana pudding and she makes about, about $200 a day. She also takes pictures of her. Once she finishes the banana pudding, she takes pictures and put it on Facebook. She puts it on her Facebook and her mom's Facebook. So just say, if y'all don't have a Facebook, uh, I know your mom has one because we're friends on Facebook. You can say, hey, mom, can you share my business on your Facebook? That way you can market, advertise, and promote your business, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So all right, that'll be it for, all right. We'll, we'll, do y'all have space for one more F or is that it? I do. All right. Write down financial freedom. So financial freedom. All right, anybody want to take a shot at that definition? So right. what, what does it mean to be free? Um, or free, what does that mean? To live how you want to. I like that, I like that. All right, so if I say I'm financial free, that basically means what? I got the money to live like I want to. That's okay. it. So financial freedom is you have the money to live like you want to. So financial freedom is you have the money to live like you want to. So that's why we're going to start a business in this program. That way y'all can make the money to do the things that y'all want to do. So you can buy the shoes you want to buy, you know, help your parent, your mom out. You can uh, give money to charity, you can buy food. You can do the things you want to do. Now we're going to be smart with it. That's why we're going to go through a financial literacy course. That way we know how to save money. We know how much money to give away and then how much money we have left to spend. All right. Now y'all don't have to write this part down, but I'm going to expand on what it means to be financially free. So right. money determines where you live, what kind of food you eat, what kind of car you drive, what kind of clothes you wear, uh, pretty much determines about 80% or more of our whole life, right? The money, so financial freedom is, is one of our goals because it determines a whole lot in our life, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Y'all agree? Because you yes. can't get, get the things you want unless you got what? Money. The money to get it. So financial freedom is a good goal to have. All right, so all right, the next alphabet is gonna be G. And can anyone give me something that starts with a G based on the things that either mean success, entrepreneurship, business, or something positive? Growth. What's that? Growth. What, what I can hardly hear. What do, you, what do you say? Growth. Growth, that's a good one, growth. So we'll put growth. That's a good one. Growth. Yep, because that's a really good one. Because we're at so the section we're in now, we're talking about personal development. So it's all about growth. So we want you to grow mentally, physically, spiritually, and, and financially. So matter of fact, so for growth, put to grow financially. Uh, spiritually mentally and physically so that's a good one, good, good one by, so growth is a good one so we want to grow in those areas so financially so we want our money to grow we want our minds to expand so mentally we want uh, our you know to grow spiritually so we want to become more 
illuminated or illumination or enlightened. Uh, and then physically, you know, we want to be physically fit enough to enjoy the fruits of our labor. So that's a good one. What about, have y'all heard the term grand opening? What's a grand opening? Like for a business? There you go. To open. So grand opening would be when you open your business. You want people to come out and support you. So just say, depending on what businesses y'all end up starting, we would plan a grand opening. That way on the first day y'all launch our business, people can come out and support you. So would you want to make a lot of money on your grand opening or a little bit of money? A lot. Right. So leading up to your grand opening, in order to get a lot of people out, we're going to tell a lot of people about it, right? On Facebook, mm -hmm. IG, you might even make a YouTube commercial. Mm -hmm. So matter of fact, sorry, for grand opening, we're going to write your definition down. Say it again so they can get it. I forgot what they said. I'm sorry. Huh? Yeah. The grand opening. You, you said something about to open to open your business. We'll say, um, yeah, to open your business. So the first day your business is first day you open your business to the public. That's what we're saying. So your grand opening means the first day you open your business to the public. All right, and then we're gonna add to that. That and write this. Say that means tell everybody that you know. Hey. This is the date that I'm opening my business. That way you can make the most money on the first day. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Do we got any more space for another G or are we maxed out? Yes. You got more space. You got more space? All right. Yeah. All right. I'm going to give you a, a guy's name that starts with a G. All right, it's going to be part of your homework and it's in your course already. So if you look back at your course, it'll kind of give you a cheat sheet to tell me who this guy is. So his name is George Crumb. George Crumb. Crumb? Yeah, C R U M. Okay. Now he's a, um, I'm going to let y'all tell me about it. So, we, we, so just put a star by that and just remember that's part of your homework. So y'all gonna Google George Crumb, YouTube, and then also look back at your course because I put a lot of notes about him. I want to tell y'all about him, but I want y'all to research it too. All right, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll stop there on G. All right, now let's go to H. All right, so for H, is there anything that stands out? H. What about hard work? I think that's a pretty good one. Hard work. Now, are all y'all hard workers? Yes. Yeah. I hope so. You can't make no money if you can't, you can't work hard. Now. Can't be successful in sports. Can't be successful in school. Your boss, if you get a you know a job or a career, probably is not gonna be happy, probably won't keep the job long. Hard work is a pretty big deal. So I'm gonna give you my definition for hard work. So we're gonna make it easy. So I right, put down hard work is not hard to a hard worker. Right? So hard work is not hard to a hard worker. <laughs> That means if you work hard, everything is going to be easy. That's, you're already a hard worker. So you want to focus on being a hard worker. That way it doesn't seem like hard work. Right? Mm -hmm. And let's do another one. What about hope? H-O-P-E. What about hope? I think that's a pretty, pretty magical word. Pretty magical word. I know somebody got a definition for me for hope. What does hope mean to y'all? To stay positive and not give up. Right. That's a good one. So hope is to, to stay positive and never give up. All 
All right. Let's jump to I. So we already got one for I. All right. What's another social media platform that you can market your business on that starts with the I? Instagram. Instagram. So write down Instagram or IG. And then just put the same thing that we put for Facebook. This is a platform that you can market. So a platform that you can market, advertise, and promote your business for free. So that's the important part. It's free. So some grand openings. You got an IG page. You want to tell everybody about what, what, what to expect, where to come, what time. So where y'all can get the most money. So we're gonna. So instead of looking at IG and Facebook as social media, we're gonna look at it more as social network. So I'm gonna and I'll email y'all these terms. So social media, media keywords means fun, game to entertain. So right, when you got a business, do you want to be on there for fun, game to entertainment, or do you want to make money? Make money. Right. So we're going to look at IG and Facebook as social network. So it's a phrase that y'all hear a lot when you get older. They say your network, meaning the people on your social media pages and the people you hang around offline. So your network determines your net worth. So net worth basically just means determine how much money you're worth. So we're going to look at IG and Facebook as social networking versus social media. All right. What's another word that starts with an I? Income. Ah, like it. Like it. Because y'all are in business to make money, right? To make some income, right? Yes. So, so you definitely want to uh, know that word. So what do you think income is? What, what does it mean to you? Money flowing, the the amount of money flowing. I like that, smart guy. So the amount, what is it, the amount of money flowing in income. So in like in the house, in the door, in the bank. So money flowing in. I like it. Good definition. Great definition. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up. Have y'all did anything with y'all vision board? Yeah, we're done. Oh, really? All right. Let's, we'll briefly discuss, because uh, it's probably going to cut off in a minute. I forgot how to share. Yeah, it's probably going to cut off. All right. So y'all are all the way complete with your vision boards? Yes. Yes. All right. So what we'll do is, when we start the session next week, we're going to do our affirmations. So remember, y'all need, Bobby's going to read the definition for affirmations. All right, y'all gonna look up who George Crumb is and Gabby Bowles, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. And then we'll jump right into our vision board. All right. Also, put a note that look back at the vision board that's in your course. That way, to kind of see if you match up. It don't have to look like that because it's your vision board. But remember, we covered how you know to construct your vision board in the first session. So just kind of make sure, because y'all y'all going to present it too. So every block on your vision board, y'all going to say, all right, this is why I chose this. So y'all going to present it to me, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Do y'all have any questions about anything we covered today? I do. Okay. What's well, when you were talking about like starting up a business, you're going to help us start up our first business. Is right. that what you're saying? Yes. So what I usually do is, all right, just say we're going to do a few modules before we get to the entrepreneurship one, because mm -hmm. I don't want to just show y'all how to make money, and then y'all don't know how to keep it, y'all don't know how to process it. So we usually do uh, personal development first, then financial literacy, then we get to entrepreneurship. So just say it's January, so we'll do, so we'll say probably around Valentine's Day, we'll get to entrepreneurship. Okay. So matter of fact, so if y'all got a business that y'all can make money during Valentine's Day, and then plus a lot of people will be getting their income taxes back, 
we'll have have your business launched in February. That way, y'all can get money from people that you know, get income tax money, or you might can give it to uh, sell it to somebody for a Valentine's Day gift. So we'll okay. come get you there right around that time. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Any any other questions? No. All right. Well, I definitely appreciate y'all's patience. Thank you for the great definitions. I, I feel like I learned a lot. Uh, I look forward to you know meeting with y'all again uh, next Thursday. So we'll do a video session next Thursday. Don't forget your homework. So we're gonna start. We're gonna cover the homework first. Y'all gonna kind of tell me about those people. Bobby's gonna read the definition, and then we'll jump straight into the uh, vision board. Fair okay. enough. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Well, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all week and y'all weekend, and I will see y'all next Thursday. You too. You too. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye bye.